free and dive into the sky. Here go. It's Erica, and we are back with the next episode of Black Widow Challenge. Sorry it's been so long since we've um, done the Black Widow Challenge. It's just been... I've really been wanting to do, like, a lot of speed builds, and so that's just what I've been doing. I have no really set schedule of what I do when, um, but basically my rules are going to be I'm not going to upload on the weekends. I know I did this did it this past weekend, but I was just really trying to get back in a rhythm of doing it. Um, but I'm not going to upload on the weekends. Uh, so nothing on Saturday and Sunday. And then I will try, try, try to have at least three uploads during the week. My goal is to have one Monday through Friday every day. But if not, definitely three times a week. Um, I am still doing Pampered Chef. But as of right now, I am also thinking about starting a blog. Um, it would basically just be like DIY, uh, couponing, how I remodel stuff on the cheap, just things like that. Um, so that, I've been working on that as well. So if I seem a little scatterbrained, that is why. But, um, and my dogs are fighting in the background. Well, not really fighting. But um, they're playing and growling and so they sound vicious, but they're really not. Um, so in the last episode, Miss Alessandra got married to Nate, and apparently, we didn't know it, but this boy was loaded. He's got like half a million Somalians, and so I'm just like, we can stop here and be set for life. Okay, dogs. Dogs. You haven't done this all morning. Why are you doing it now? <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Um, but they got married in the last episode, and he's loaded, and so yeah. I've been looking up ways. I'm just going to let them play while I talk. Um, I've been looking up different ways that Sims can die within the Sims 4. Come here. I am so sorry, you guys, but they are being little brats today. Okay, but anyway, I've been looking up ways that Sims can die in The Sims 4. Um, they made it a lot more difficult whenever they jump from The Sims 3 to The Sims 4. Like, it takes a whole 48 hours for them to die of starvation, whereas in The Sims 3 it took a lot less. Um, as well as the getting exhausted um, from just, I guess, drowning and swimming. Um, but yeah, they made it a lot harder to kill them. And so these are the different ways they can die. They can die by fire. So basically um, put a, make a little room in the backyard, I guess. And then I could put um, Nate in there with a very low level stove and then have him like cook a grilled cheese and put rugs under it. And it's supposedly supposed to catch on fire. You can do cheats, but I really don't want to do cheats to kill these guys. Um, but yeah, you can cause the fire. Uh, you can drown them. So basically just put up a pool. It works better when they're tired already. So I may have them like, I don't know, woohoo a couple of times and then work out and then throw them in the pool and he's already, you know, exhausted. And so, uh, yeah, you just put a fence around the pool and then he technically can't get out in real life. He could just pull up over the fence, but that's not how Sims logic works. Um, but yeah, drowning by pool, death by laughter, um... They can do this by making them play in the playful emotion by making them watch com comedy on the TV, taking a bubble bath, read a book, make them laugh till them cry, uh, make them laugh till them cry, sorry, make them laugh till they cry, turn on the emotional aura for the collected My Sims trophies and turn on the aura of the Plum Bob reward lamps. Um, I don't know if we'll do that. Well, we might try it. Um, the next one is Death by Cow Plant. Um, if y'all don't know what the cow plant is, it's this little creepy looking thing. It's, it's got the head of a cow with like no eyes and a really weird tongue. Uh, and then it's got this real curly, ugly body. It's weird. 
but basically if you don't feed a cow plant he gets so hungry that when he sticks out this piece of cake on his tongue and you like try to take it or something he eats you and then half the time he'll either spit you back up but the other half the time you're dead um so that's the cow plant and then death by overexertion um this is more for elderly sims so i guess if we decide for alessandra to marry an old guy maybe we think he's loaded too um basically they uh you can either make them work out or you can literally woohoo them to death and i think that's hilarious so if we marry an old guy we're just gonna woohoo him to death um the next one is death by electrocution so just repairing an electronic like a speaker or tv or dishwasher or fridge um if they have a low handiness skill then they will just electrocute themselves <laughs> um death by hunger this is just starvation where you put them in a room by themselves and for um 48 hours they will become ravenous and then they will die um death by embarrassment they can do this by peeing on the ground when other sims are nearby walking on a stranger using the toilet or using the shower walk around in public with low hygiene level have an embarrassing conversation with another sim walk in on strangers that are busy woohooing uh practice instruments that are low skill level with other sims in the room and get rejected from a wedding proposal so technically alessandra should have been mortified because she got rejected. <laughs> um, this one is just sounds so funny. It's called Death by Cardiac Explosions. Basically, like, they seriously get so pissed off they die. <laughs> but um, you can do it by using mean social interactions, getting your sim into fights, looking at an angry painting or sculpture, and eat angry flaming spaghetti. Um, and then Death by Old Age, which is just natural. They'll just die. They'll, they'll fall over and die. Um, death by steam. I might try this one. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds funny. But basically you put them in the sauna and it'll be comfortable at first and then they, they're ready to come out and then you put them back in there again and then they start getting uncomfortable and then you put them back in there again and then they die. <laughs> um, and then death by pufferfish. Uh, apparently pufferfish is very poisonous and if it's poorly cooked you can die. Uh, so we might try that one. And then there's Death by Sunlight, but that's only for vampires, which he is not unless we turn him. So we might end up, like, if we marry a vampire, you know, just, like, lock him outside <laughs> and be like, sorry, I'm tired of you. You're just going to stay out there and die. So, um, yeah, that is our deaths. And I, like I said earlier, I think I'm going to go with the Death by Steam for this one. I don't know why, but I just, I'm, I'm feeling it. Um, so I need, can I put it downstairs? Is there enough room downstairs? Uh, maybe? I mean, I guess I could just slap it in the middle of the room. Here. It's not like we ain't got the money for it. Now where's the sauna? Ooh, I always forget. Where's the sauna? <laughs> Um, let's filter by packs and go to the spa day. Um, they're not, oh, here it is, okay. Sauna room. Uh, we'll get the nice sauna room. Oh, there's different colors. I like this one. <laughs> okay, so we'll put them right here. Even though now we're blocking that door. Well, no, not totally. Okay, so there is the room Mr. Nate will die in. And we'll go back to live mode and we will bring Mr. Nate down here. Let's, no, no babies yet. Let's just go in the sauna. Where are you, Nate? Come on. There you go. What? That was not relaxing. What you doing? What you talking about, Willis? You're going to go in there and actually use the sauna now? There you go. Alright. So now I'm just going to fast forward. Because basically the goal is just to make him like super uncomfortable. See he's already sweating like oh, oh my goodness. It's so hot in here. And then he's like oh it's oh never mind it's hot again. Oh it's comfy. Uh oh no it's hot again. <laughs> uh, okay see this moodlet it says stupendous steaming. A steam a little steam is nice but a little more is marvelous. Okay, so he's still like, he's, he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. He's just sitting in here. He doesn't know if he wants to die or not. Nope. All right. 
Nope, we're gonna shove you back in here. Relax again. <laughs> Change, switch sides, and do it again. Okay, we should see a negative mood lit pop up here in a minute. He's like, oh my goodness, I'm so hot. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about killing my sims on the lot is the fact that then I have their ghost. And then when I, you know, get more than one husband going on in here, it's going to be awkward. Because they're all going to be jealous. So it's going to... I'm worried about that. <laughs> Maybe I should have went to the spa and killed him. <laughs> That way, I could just, you know, take the little urn thingy and bring it back. That way his ghost doesn't follow me. Okay, yeah, see, he's starting to get a negative moodlet. Superfluous steaming from steam overdose. Too much steam goes well past pleasure and leads to prune-like skin. Alright, nope. Sit back down. We're gonna make this a quick one, man. Dude. <gasps> wow, that was quick. That was, like, super quick. Dude, I may just do that with all of them. That was awesome. Normally it takes like, you know, 20 minutes on my time to kill a guy. And that took like seriously three minutes. Nate Archibald has lived a good life, but his time has finally come. He is dying of overheating at the sauna. Oh my goodness. So dramatic. Oh, no, don't speed up. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Oh. So sad. Oh. Let's take a picture of that to remember him by. Alright, let's play. <laughs> I enjoyed that way too much, you guys. I have a sick sense of humor. Not like I'd kill people, but I just find it funny because it's a game, you guys. Um, but yeah. We gonna go, okay, there's the reaper. I love how he uses a tablet. He's like, is this the right guy? I guess so. <laughs> well, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> He's just standing there. Sometime today would be lovely, Grim. I mean, come on. Okay, whack. There we go. Alright. And now she's very sad. Widow. From losing a true love, few things are sadder than when spouses are separated by death. You knew him for like not even two full days, honey. Okay. So where's this thing you go? No, not in here. Wait. Where did I say I was going to do that thing? Was it in here? No. Oh, that's right. I said I was going to get rid of that coffin. Okay. So we're going to go into build mode. And we're just going to delete. Delete. Oh, man, no. I just want to delete the sauna. Okay, delete that. Delete. De delete. Oh, this thing is so weird sometimes. Delete. Delete, delete, delete. Okay, and then copy the floor. Oh no, carpet. Where'd the carpet go? Oh, it's one of those. Okay, I'll fix that in a minute. And then there. And then there. Really? Really? That's annoying. No. Okay, just one more. Alright. And then we're going to delete this and this. And I'm not really feeling the gargles. Man, that, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright. And then we are going to center this over that. Because I'm OCD. And then we're going to find some like little... Some little shelves, if I can. Is it in this? Could I use this? Hmm. 
is this usable? Because if it is, that'd be great. It is. Is there something that doesn't look so rustic? I mean, I love my rustic stuff, but I don't think it really fits for this challenge. Um, I thought that there was an end game. I really did. There that is. Okay. Now I know where it is. <laughs> I was looking for that end wall oven <laughs> for a speed build. <laughs> and I couldn't find it, of course. Um, that gummit, where is it? Um, what would that be called? Pedestal? Is it a pedestal? Ped no, ped pedestal. No! Text search for pedestal. Text search for pedestal. There we go. Yeah, one like that. Okay, yeah. One like this. We'll just make it white. We'll get... Okay, so let's put him... Really? Oh, I thought all three of them could be used! That sucks. Okay, delete that, delete that, and we'll just go with a little man pedestal. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And since he's the first, we'll put him in the middle to show him a little bit more respect. Oh, dang! I should have got a picture of him! Mm. That would have been funny. it. Oh, well. Alright, so, there is, oh, are you really going to talk to Grim? Rude introduction? You're going to be pissy with Grim Reaper? I wouldn't, honey. He's the, he's the reason you, uh, you live right now. So, alright, yeah, you just need to go to sleep. No, go cry it out. That'll help with your, your sadness. Come on, honey. Go cry it out. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was like, why are you moving so fast? <laughs> Cry it out again. We're just going to keep crying it out. Oh. That is so sad. Goodness. Nope, honey, we're just going to keep crying it out because doing those things makes it go away faster. If their mood looks like blue and then I click on something and it has blue beside it, it means that it'll, see, this arrow, it, it's making it go away faster. It may not be significant, but it does help. <laughs> that is so sad. Okay, why don't we just go to sleep? Yeah. There we go. That'll also take a significant chunk out of this because it's super fast forwards whenever they sleep. Oh, she's getting thirsty. Okay. Oh. Okay, so she needs to feed, and she's a widow, so she's, like, sad and hungry, and her day is just not working out. Can I actually... Oh, you can... What is this? Call the sadness hotline? Goodness. Oh, she sounds so sad. <laughs> okay, but I was wanting to see, can you buy plasma? Um. Hmm. Oh, that's new. <gasps> Let's do red. <laughs> that looks orange. Let's do black. <laughs> okay. So. Okay, so they don't have hunger. But is there. 
What are you doing? You're crying it out in your coffin? Oh my goodness, you were so pathetic. Oh. And creepy as heck. You guys, Rory Bell just commented. Oh my gosh. Go check it out right now. My video for the Royer Build Challenge 2 just went up and she commented, absolutely stunning. Your build mode CC is hashtag goals. I love your build. Oh my gosh, that just made my day, you guys. Oh my word. <laughs> Seriously, that made me so happy. Oh, but this makes me so sad. I'm torn. I don't know, you guys. Okay. Seriously, though, can I buy plasma? Um, I don't know where that would be. Uh, poop. Um, therapeutic chat from calling sadness hotline. A phone call with sadness professionals really helped to shift your sim's emotional state. Well, that's good. Now I know that that works. It still says two days, but, I mean, once it gets down to the hours, it'll seem to go down faster. Um... Dude, I don't know if we <laughs> Maybe we should go out to eat. Oh, it's daytime. Um, I guess I'll just need to get in there quick. Um, actually, hold on, you guys. I'm gonna look up and see if I can buy plasma, because if I can't, we're just gonna have to find somebody to get suck some blood from. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys. So I'm back. Um, and it, I found, it says, you don't need to drink from other sims to get your plasma. You can also eat plasma fruit or drink plasma pra packs. Blah, 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 blah. Plasma packs, sorry. Um, vampire sims can order plasma packs from the internet, but to save money, you could also harvest and plant a plasma fruit tree or make plasma packs out of fish and frogs you catch. The trait loves the outdoors, and angling aspiration will give you a boost when it comes to gardening and fishing. So we're just going to go on the interwebs if... Do you have a computer? I really don't think she does. I don't think she has a computer. <laughs> um, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're loaded. We got half a million simoleons. So we're just gonna do this and we're gonna, oh, wrong one. <laughs> we're gonna do this and then we are going to pick out a really pretty uh, desk. Really pretty. <laughs> um, uh, We'll just do this one. It looks kind of like the Victorian look to it. So we'll plop that down and then we will grab this computer. Is there a red one? That's cool. We're getting that one. All right. And then we need a nice comfy chair to accompany that. Um, no, I just want a computer chair. All the nice comfy ones are locked. Boo. <sighs> Poop. I say that a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> We'll, we'll do this one. That's cool. Alright, so we'll go back to live mode. And then, oh, she got a thing. Um, we will order... Uh, um, I don't see plasma. Do you see plasma? I don't. Okay, I can't purchase the seeds. Dude. Vampire secrets. Search for information on vampire. No, nope, that's not it. More choices. Um, web, maybe? No, that's not it. Um, socialize, I doubt that's it. Um, that gummit. I thought it said I could order... Do, can I only do that if I'm a certain, like, level? What is Void Critter? Garlic seeds? Why would I want garlic seeds? She can open them from her inventory to discover which monster are inside. What? What? Now I'm scared. Is this, like, a tradable card? Oh, so I just wasted 125 bucks crap it okay well let's just do vampire secrets search for information on, on vampires come up here honey 
Quit being so sad. Oh. Alessandra has reached level one of vampire lore skill. Alessandra is delving deep into researching vampires. Dang gum, honey. She leveled up twice in like two minutes. Alessandra read that sunlight is very bad for vampires. Potentially deadly, in fact. No. Unlocked vampire tom. Alessandra has discovered the Von Flavius Vampire Emporium while searching for vampires. She can now purchase Encyclopedia Vampirica, vo Vampirica. <laughs> Volume 1 on the computer under Vampire Secrets. Okay, so maybe, maybe I have to sir maybe i've got to like go up in skill so i can buy it maybe okay so i'm still hey stop moving a fledging vampire and my next rank is no stop quit being so depressed that's so sad no just search for information come on we're gonna level you up so i can buy you plasma because you're thirsty. Oh. Oh. That's awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna have to say no to that, honey. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Okay, so are you leveling up? You are. Good girl. What's the page look like? Alessandra has exhausted all information on vampires that she can find online. If she wants to learn more, she could order some vampire books on the computer. All right, so let's buy some books. Purchase Vampire Tones, Volume 1. I, I just need one. I don't need, like, seven of them. <laughs> all right, so it should show up in our inventory. Yes, it is. Let's read it. All right, you can stop being on the interwebs, and you can read your book now. But you can't keep moping around and being all sad. Alright, so we're going to fast forward. And I'm going to click on this. To because she's so close. Take on a weakness. What's that? Alessandra is now a minor vampire. She has started the ascent to the unhallowed rank of Grandmaster Vampire. Keep using powers, researching vampires, and talking to other vampires to earn more vampire experience. Alessandra read that frogs are a valuable source of materials for creating your own plasma packs. And she's going to cry it out again. Alessandra discovered that there is an alternative method for vampires to satisfy their thirst. She can now order plasma packs. Awesome. Let's do it. Order some plasma packs. Would it be under vampire? It is. Okay. Cool. Let's order like 12. <laughs> um, just kidding. Let's do like 20. My mouse is in the way. All right. Who a thousand books is worth it. It keeps my girl alive. All right, guys. We have found the plasma. We have found the gold for Miss Alessandra. That is nasty. Ugh. You feeling better, though? Okay, so that got her, like, halfway there. All right, so it looks like she needs two to get somewhat, you know, back to normal. The Humor and Hijinks Festival is in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. Cool. So we may take her to that but um, in the next episode. But as of right now, I think we're going to call it a day. Um, she is going to keep researching the Encyclopedia of Empirica Volume 1. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye, y'all.